Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to every one of you. Welcome to this video series. In this video series, I'm going to be teaching education technology class SHPP1042. This course gives you a very good introduction and background about using technology and utilizing technology inside your classrooms. In this course, I'm going to be using both synchronous and asynchronous strategies so that uh, every one of you get the chance to catch up and uh, you know watch all the uh, uh, lectures. What I mean is that I mean I'm going to record all the lectures before uh, even we meet online so that you, you will be able to uh, watch the lecture and then when we meet online uh, we can discuss further, ask uh, questions, uh, share uh, whatever you want to share with me and then you know making sure each and every one of you has the actually the right to watch the video even if you don't have uh, internet connection uh, during the lecture time. All right, so I'm going to be with you for the next uh, 14 weeks uh, for this current semester. And my name is Hassan Mahmoud Abu Hasna, Senior Lecturer, uh, Faculty of Humanities and Social Science, School of Education, University of Technology Malaysia. And for now, I'm just going to be uh, sharing with you some of the outlines of the course and then uh, a brief discussion about the assignments of the course and then we can dive in to our first lecture about education technology introduction. Uh, this is actually the course information about the course we are going to start together. The educational technology course SHPP1042. And as I mentioned in the introduction, this course actually introduces the principles of education technology and related to our teaching and learning process. In this course, we are going to learn a big deal about education technology, how to use it, how to utilize it inside our classroom, um, uh, education technology and instruction technology and what are the differences between them. I'm going to learn about education technology theories and models and so on and uh, uh, this is uh, the course lecturers uh, it's going to be Dr. Diana and me for this current semester and you can find me at this number and this is my actually my email in this course we have three main uh, course uh, learning outcomes which are uh, you are required to describe the concept of education technology in relation to effective teaching and learning process. You, act you actually are required to uh, make sure that you understand the uh, concept of education technology and how are you going to use it inside your classroom. And then number two, you are, you are going to be able to differentiate the effectiveness of learning instructions using conventional and a newer technology, you are required during this course to be able actually to differentiate between, uh, for example, uh, the chalkboard and the smart board or uh, iPad. So this is actually one of the CLO of the course. You as a future teacher are going to be able to differentiate between a new technology and conventional uh, technology. And lastly, you are going to be able to develop a computer-based instruction materials. In this course, actually, you are required to develop a computer-based instructional materials for teaching and learning purposes through group work projects. And this is going to be uh, assignment number two. And I'm going to talk about assignment in details in just a moment. But in the meantime, this actually CLO3 is all about using the uh, meaning of, uh, you know, instruction materials and how actually te technology can be integrated inside your classroom. And for the uh, innovative and teaching learning practices, we are going to use active learning, uh, forum discussion through e-learning, and then finally the project 
based uh, learning. And in this course, we are going to cover uh, 14 chapters, 14 chapters for uh, 14 weeks, uh, you know, starting with the introduction to education to instruction technology, communication process and learning, instructional design models. We are going to learn a big deal about different models of instruction design, for example, Assure, ARCS, and ADDIE. And then we are going to talk about computational thinking, uh, strategies, methods, and so on uh, through social media, media selection, visual principles, projected media, uh, static visual photography, audio, video learning, digital media, current interactive online software, learning centers and support agencies, and then finally with the trend in technology and media. And this course actually has four main assessments, all right? Two individual and two group assignment, okay? For the uh, individual, we are going to, to have a test in week four or five, a very simple uh, test. It's a multiple choice, and we are going to uh, conduct the test through e-learning, and then through the whole semester, we are going to have activities in e-learning. This is going to be 10% and 10% for the test. And this is actually going to measure your communication knowledge and skills. And for the assignment, the other uh, individual assignment is about uh, a, a paper review. And this is actually where you as a future teacher taking education technology class have the right or have the freedom to select any article of your own that is related to education technology. You need to read it, summarize it, and then report this summary in one to two pages. And then uh, you need to present this summary uh, within like three to five slides only. I just want to measure your ability to read and understand and summarize scientific articles that is related to uh, education technology. And for the assignment two, which is uh, the group work, this group work is actually about creating any teaching aid or media. You as a teacher, supposed to be able to actually conduct a lesson, use technology in your uh, lesson. And this is all this assignment is talking about. You are uh, asked to actually come out with a lesson plan. First of all, you need to prepare a lesson plan with your group members, a, a written lesson plan, two to three pages. And this is going to be actually in details in the assignment guidelines i just upload it in e-learning and then uh, you have to create a teaching materials or media or aids whatever you call it this is actually uh, it's up to you you can create a website a presentation you can create a poster it's up to you whatever you are good at you can create a, a mobile app uh, you know, poster, infographic, video, and so on. And then finally, you need to present your uh, group work and, f and then uh, you are asked to uh, provide a peer assessment between you and your students. So uh, all these assignments are 60% of the uh, total mark. And then we, have, we will have a final examination, which is 40% of the course after uh, week 14. And yeah, that's pretty much about the uh, course outline and information. And here are some of the references that you can uh, actually go through if you want more in-depth information. And you are uh, required to actually 
submit a uh, honest and plagiarism free individual report and, and work. And that's all for the outlines of this course. And what I'm gonna be sharing with you next is uh, the introduction of education technology, our first class. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. This is our first education technology uh, class, SHHPP1042. In this course, uh, we are going to learn about uh, the definition of education, the definition of teaching and learning, definition of education technology, and then finally instructional technology. And we are going to learn the differences between each of them because they are highly related to each other and in order to understand the meaning of education technology you need to understand the meaning of education and in in order to uh, understand the meaning of education you need to understand the meaning of teaching and learning so we will go uh, uh, one by one uh, to make it easy for you to understand to be able to understand the meaning of education technology as I mentioned, we need to understand the meaning of education. Education is a process of transferring knowledge between the teacher and the students, for example. So what is the, uh, you know, the, the role of technology in education? Using technology in education could make education easier. So I just come out with my own definition of education technology. Education technology is using or utilizing technology in education to make it easier. So education technology actually could be any media. For example, I'm using my laptop to uh, communicate with my students. This is using technology to actually uh, communicate with my students. Uh, I'm using a projector, I'm using a smart board. This is all actually kind of uh, technologies in my education. So education technology is about using the technology itself, not making or explaining how does it work, all right? You need to understand the differences here. Using the technology itself, inside our teaching and learning process this is called education technology okay all right so education technology in our 21st century is very essential there's no actually classroom nowadays without technology in it so you as a future teacher are responsible to learn about technology and how are you going to use technology inside the classroom you are going to use a projector, you are going to use a computer, you are going to use laptops. All these kind of, you know, materials and tools are technology and you are required to use technology in, inside your classroom. Especially, you know, in, in what's happening nowadays. Uh, all schools, universities, all educational institutions in general are going to online learning, for example. So. Imagine yourself, you as a teacher, and you don't have background about technology and how to use technology in, uh, inside a classroom. This is going to be a big issue for you. And one more thing you need to be aware of. There are two, actually two terms, educational technology and technology in education. You need to understand and differentiate between each one of them. For example, education technology I am using technology in my teaching and learning process. This is education technology, all right? While if I am uh, explaining about technology and how does it work, this is technology and education. So do you need, you need to differentiate between these two. Utilizing technology in your education process is education technology. While if I am explaining about how does technology work uh, how does this 
for example, Mike Work. This is explaining technology. So it's technology and education. All right. So education technology is using any technology, videos, posters, graphics, photography, laptops, any technology inside your education process. This is what we call education technology. So what I want from you, I want you in your own words to define education. What is education to you? In e-learning, I'm going to post a question, a forum discussion, and then you are required to come with your own words. There's no copy paste based on your understanding. What is education to you? What is education technology? I need you to explain uh, the meaning of education and education technology based on your understanding so far. Now you have defined education and what does education means to you. And uh, 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 I'm going to share with you some of the definitions of education so that we can make it uh, more understandable to you. Wherever there is you know, a knowledge or skills or values or habits transferring between two parties, this is called education. Education as well is meant to actually make permanent change into people. We are expecting people to change through the whole process of education. That's why we educate people to make their minds change, to make their uh, more open-minded, to make them more uh, aware of things. So education is all about permanent change in people. And education as well is all about reconstruction. For example, if you want to learn about, for example, a, a software, you what you need to do is you need to Google it or you need to seek a teacher that is an expert in this field to teach you. So what this teacher or what this YouTube video is going to do to you is actually going to restruct this information that you have and then make it uh, uh, more uh, wide, make you as a person more professional in this field. So education is all about facilitating learning and, and, and permanent change to you and then uh, reconstruction and uh, make you live the experience by, your, uh, uh, by yourself. And education as well is all about developing the cognitive, affective and uh, psychomotor domains of the students. We are not dealing with one part of the students. We are dealing with the students as a whole. So we need to consider all domains of the students uh, through our education process. And then education, we need to believe, we need to make sure that we actually uh, educate people with a purpose. Without a purpose, there will be no education. There will be no success in our education process. So we need to make sure that uh, uh, we are developing our understanding and judgment based on a purpose. Okay. Education mostly happens in school, but at the same time, whatever knowledge you get, even if it's outside of the school or outside of the university, is still education. But mostly, education happens in school. That's why we go to school to be educated, to educate ourselves. Right? And education is concerned with the development of a whole person. We cannot take one part of the person and leave the others. All right. So you as a teacher, you need to make sure uh, you consider all aspects of the students, all domains of the students, intellectually, emotionally, physically, and so on. So this is actually the meaning of education. The meaning of education based on our understanding. Education is a process of facilitating learning. All right. While the main purpose of education is to make a permanent change into people. While at the same time, education needs to have a purpose. We care about the development of people as a whole. We cannot take parts of the students. For example, I want to deal with uh, only the physical part of the students or only the emotional part of the students. 
this is not going to happen some of the students are going to be attending your class and some of them will be sad some of them will be happy and you need to uh, um, uh, be aware of their emotional needs and you need to actually uh, consider both of them and then uh, how to make them feel better this education purpose achieved at the end of the day so in order for us to understand the education process we need to understand the meaning of teaching and learning so education is the whole process and inside education what will happen teaching and learning so teaching and learning is the core of education how is that because without a teacher and for example a student and a content these are three channels student teacher and the content there will be no uh, education process so teaching and learning is is the main core of education in order for you to understand the meaning of education you need to understand both teaching and learning process and we are going to define both teaching and learning and we will have some variety of definitions for both teaching and learning what is the meaning of teaching teaching is simply as transferring knowledge transferring habits me as a father when i for example pray in front of my uh, child this is actually me teaching him how to pray so we can define teaching as imparting knowledge or skills i have knowledge i have some kind of skills i want to transfer this skills or knowledge to anybody else this is called teaching and teaching is actually all about the arrangement of the information and the environment to facilitate the learning what do we mean by environment here environment could be the place the technology the method itself that i'm using to uh, teach uh, the media the information and so on so this is simply what we mean by teaching teaching is transferring imparting uh, knowledge skills through uh, teachers to their actually their students okay so now we understand the meaning of teaching which is transferring the knowledge and then receiving this knowledge is learning so we can actually simply uh, define learner as any change that happens to uh, to us as a human as a result of interaction between students and their teacher you as a teacher you have your own students and you keep telling them uh, for example information about uh, a specific topic you at the end of the course expect them to be different when they have started or else if there is no change this is not a good sign actually so you as a teacher expect your learners to change during this process of uh, teaching and learning and learning is the development as we can see the differences here teaching is the transferring of the knowledge while in the learner side is the development of the knowledge or skills me as a teacher i'm transferring the knowledge to you so this is called teaching while you as a learner you receive this knowledge and you develop a new for example definition or concept about education so this is actually what do you mean by uh, learning and learning takes place in a response to instructional efforts on the part of students and teachers so this is actually what we mean by learning as we can see teaching and learning is actually very related to each other without teaching there will be no learning and vice versa so you as a teacher you should ask yourself what should my students be able to do with what they learn okay and this question actually will make you understand what should you teach so it's all about the balance between teaching and learning you cannot expect your students to be learning a lot without teaching them all right so that's why you need to actually set 
the goals of your uh, teaching and learning process and purpose before you even go there and uh, start teaching them. To make it even more easier for you to understand how is teaching and how is learning, teaching actually go through three main steps, which are the teacher, the content, and then the students, sender, content or message and receiver. These are the three channels for teaching. While learning, on the other hand, it has the teacher as the sender and then any media, for example, websites, audio, videos, photos, books, emails, discussion, any kind of activity that you are doing with your students could be a learning opportunity for them to actually be gaining learning experience. Okay, great. So far, we understand the meaning of education, uh, teaching and learning. Now we need to understand the meaning of technology. What is technology? To be able to relate it to education technology and then understand the whole term as education technology. What is technology based on your understanding? Well, technology has always had a variety of interpretations. Uh, technology could be a hardware, could, technology could be a software, technology could be a systematic way, a scientific way, solving problems, all these definitions could be uh, defined as technology. For example, if you have a very complicated uh, equations, and then you can use the calculator to solve it out. All right, great. Now we understand the, the meaning of education, technology, teaching and learning, and then how can we define education technology? Education technology based in, on our understanding of technology and education, the study and ethical practices of facilitating learning and improving performance by creating, using, managing appropriate technological process and resources. So it's all about utilizing technology to make education more easier for me as a teacher and for my students, okay? Even for the content itself, when I present my uh, content in a PowerPoint slides, that will be more, um, you know, catchy for the students. They will not be sleepy during the class and so on. So technology is all about making the education process more easier. And then we have a, a definition for instructional technology as the theory and practice of design, development, utilization, management, and evaluation of processes and resources for learning. This is actually a definition of instruction technology. And what I want you to uh, understand is how to differentiate between education technology and instruction technology. And we will get to that later. But for now, I need you to uh, understand education technology as utilizing technology in our in, uh, in our education to make it easier while on the other hand instructional technology is how to practice how to design how to develop uh, how to utilize technology this is actually a framework so I, I always say instruction technology is a framework on how to actually practice education technology. I want you to understand the whole meaning of it and then uh, come out with your own definition based on your understanding. I don't want you to memorize. I just want you to understand. And, and it's totally up to you about what definition you would actually relate to. I have actually mentioned more than maybe six or seven definitions of education technology and what i want from you that to understand that all definitions of education technology focused on one thing which is to improve the teaching learning process this is the main purpose of education technology education technology has been invented in the first place to improve teaching and learning process if you understand this there's no worries actually uh, for you to uh, come out with your own definition of education technology all right so far so great now we have 
I understood the meaning of education, teaching and learning, technology, education technology, and we had a variety of definitions of education technology. Now let's go and have a look at instructional technology. What are the differences between education technology and instructional technology, which is very important for you to understand. For you to be able to differentiate between education technology and instruction technology, you need to ask yourself one question. Which one is part from the other? Instruction technology is part from education technology or education technology is part of instruction technology? Well, education technology is the big field. Education technology is the big umbrella. And then part of education technology is instruction technology. As I, as I mentioned in the definition, education technology is all about using technology, while instruction technology is a framework, right? So you can use instructional technology to make the best use of education technology. So instruction technology is often referred uh, to as a part of education technology, but the use of these terms has changed over the years. How? The theory and practice of design, development, utilization, management, evaluation, this is called instructional technology. Instruction technology is all, and, and we will discuss about the models in chapter three. Uh, we will discuss about ADDIE, and uh, assure and so on all these models in instruction technology is all about how to actually design develop evaluate and so on so as a generalization instruction technology refers to media tools process that has been used for presentation in our teaching and learning process so what i want you to understand here is instructional technology is part of education technology how to make it actually better and based on that we have these circles as we can see the big one is education technology okay this is the big umbrella education technology and then comes part of education technology is instructional technology and part of instructional technology is learning the uh, technology methods of using it and then media is part of all of these circles. So the big field is education technology, instruction technology, methods, medias, tools, and so on. And for uh, 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 the instructional technology, it's all about, as I mentioned, planning, designing, developing, utilizing, and evaluating as well. And for the education technology, it's about teacher skills to deliver their knowledge, the theory, pedagogy, evaluation, psychology, and so on. And for the, uh, and for the learning technology and methods, we can use drill and practice, uh, simulation, animation, uh, problem solving, and so on. So this is very important for you to understand that is education technology is the big field and everything else, including instruction technology, media, uh, tools, uh, materials that comes as a part of education technology. So as a conclusion for our class today, education technology is a huge area that includes all education aspects such as teaching and learning, audiovisual tools, curriculum development, systematic plan, development process, and etc. And for you as an education technology experts, you need actually to identify aims and objectives, planning the learning environment, exploring and structuring the subject matter, selecting appropriate teaching strategies, helping students develop new ways of learning, evaluating the effects and effectiveness of the teaching and learning system, and finally using insights gained from evaluation to understand that system and where possible improve it. So education technology is a whole process. You need to understand the problem, identify the problem. 
use the appropriate media uh, uh, make sure that the students understand how to use this media and make sure that you have actually achieved your uh, goals after all or else the technology will be useless to so highlight the education technology role and education process and for us to understand education technology the best way we need to understand what fields of education technology what are we need to understand what are the fields of education technology education technology has so many fields one of them is instructional design and then information technology resources and management we have systems and curriculum developments and we have cognitive and information processing we have research and evaluation of instructional products and processes and we have human resource development and management so education technology is a quite big uh, field that has at least six sections inside of it we as teachers that are interested in education technology we need to understand what field of education technology that we know the best all right for example if you have uh, uh, you know some desires about uh, uh, designing courses you need to go through instruction design if you have you know some skills about uh, you know producting videos producting uh, websites for teaching and learning processes this is actually comes under media production and so on so each one of these fields are different but all of them come under education technology fields and one more thing that you need to be aware of in education technology and for better understanding of education technology you need to understand the differences between the process of education technology and the product of it okay the process of education technology is the instructional design how we use it how we do it how we design our for example courses if I want to teach online I, I want to design a course online this process is called uh, instructional design materials for example and and curriculum this is called process while on the other hand the products of education technology are the materials itself let's say I'm a teacher I want to actually design a website this website I'm going to be using to uh, for, for teaching purposes all right this website has to follow a constructions these constructions are instructional design how to design how to develop how to actually practice how to evaluate all this comes in the process way while the final product as a website www dot blah 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 this is our product okay so we have a process and we have a product in in in, pro, in our process we need to follow instructional design skills all right and then the final product is actually the the materials the final product in in our uh, education technology class uh, so we are all done for this course i hope everything is clear we have uh, discussed about education teaching and learning technology education technology instruction technology and how we can actually differentiate between them how we can differentiate between education technology and technology in education so the learning actually is uh, uh, both process and outcome in itself uh, uh, that's that's pretty much for uh, the introduction for education technology class I hope everything is clear and uh, I will see you guys online uh, next week so that we can discuss farther thank you very much guys for uh, watching this video and my best regards bye bye